Local law enforcement has also been busy with spice bus lately. We've seen things like businesses shut down and suspects in court. And we wanted to know how many of you are using technology to help get this poison off the streets. Fox News reporter Letitia Bush back in the studio with those numbers. Letitia. Both the Mobile Police Department and the Sheriff's Office have a text program that you can use to report suspicious spice activity. Grab your phone and a pen. I'm going to give you that information shortly. Now, they both launched late May, and here's what I found. Most of the Mobile Police Department's spice related arrests are the result of undercover narcotics operations. Spokesperson Ashley Rain says so far, no one has used the text tip line to report spice. We do want to make sure that the public is aware that this crime text line that we have uh, can absolutely be used for. Um, you know, if you believe that someone is using spice, if you believe that someone is selling spice out of their home or a business. Rain says most of you are calling police to report spice. We've gotten a phone call from a person that went to a gas station and she recognized uh, from seeing the spice packets on the news, she recognized what those were and she saw someone selling it. Uh, to someone at a gas station, so she called us. Over at the sheriff's office, they've received about 26 texts since the end of May. I've got the sheet here. There are no names or no phone numbers, but it does show just as recently as yesterday, someone complained about suspicious drug activity at a home, and investigators say this is a success. So as a text comes in, it reads into our website. Mobile County Sheriff oh, spokesperson Lori Miles so attributes the success of the tip line to exposure. Every time we do a story on it, or we focus on it, or we promote it, we get more. So it's really just making the community aware that it's out there. Miles says, go with your gut if you suspect spice is being used or distributed near you. Report it. We'll check it out. If it's nothing, guess what? It's nothing. That that neighbor will never know that, you know, something was reported. Okay, so here's the information I was telling you about Mobile County Sheriff's Office. If you want to get a hold of them, you can text SPICE to 839-863. For the Mobile Police Department, you can text CRIME411 to 274-637 or call 251-208-7000. And on the lines of this story, the Mobile City Council voted to revoke the business license of a store where police say that arrests were made after the store was selling spice. The council revoked the license of the D&D one-stop shop that's on Halls Mill Road. The police chief, James Barber, says three undercover officers purchased spice on three different dates earlier this year. We've sent a pretty clear message to anybody that's using a, a business to facilitate illegal drug transactions uh, that it's not going to be tolerated. And the owner of that store, the police chief says, is Deisha Williams. He says that she will not remain in business in the city of Mobile. 20-year-old Mobile man.